Okay, that is good. So here's our little shot. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Oh my oh, god! Again? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're oh god, this is not going off to a very good start. Before I tell you what just happened, hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna be turning into the ultimate Visco girl. Now, Visco is a certain like kind of girl aesthetic that I honestly kind of like. As you can see, I can <laughs> over here. So, um, my dog, um, I don't know which one, I have two dogs. They think it's okay to freaking <laughs> on my floor in that spot. Literally just cleaned that up two hours ago and it, it I don't know which dog this is. Let's confront them real quick. Now, Gracie. See, I have a couple questions to ask you. Did you pee on my floor? Did you pee on my floor, Gracie? Gracie. Did you pee on my floor? Boy, if you don't get- I don't know, guys. She looks pretty guilty. Bossy, I don't want to disturb you from your wholesome nap. But did you pee on my floor, Bossy? Did you? I don't know. This is kind of off topic, but <laughs> I have to clean up the pee on my floor that's appeared for the second time today. Later. I thought when I was filming, something smelled a little bit off, so I looked on the ground and I was just like, Wait a minute! Okay, why is there a puddle of pee on the floor? Did it like come back up from the floor? And I'm like, no, it's a fresh pee. <laughs> anyway, Visco Girl, let me just break it down in three simple accessories. Scrunchies, Hydro Flask, and the seashell necklace. We're gonna be dressing as a Visco Girl for this video, so. But the three Visco shoes are Vans, Birkenstocks, and Crocs. First, we're gonna go for the actual look. And now a lot of people in my school call me a Visco girl, because I have a lot of the accessories. And they're just like, Lily, are you a Visco girl? And I'm just like, I don't know, you tell me. And they're always like, what's a Visco girl? Well, you mean, you have to know what it is before you ask, stupid. So I don't really have any oversized t-shirts. Now my mom like is coming back from New York right now, so she probably has like, all of her shirts like, packed up. So I'm gonna try to find one because I know they're all oversized for me. So we're gonna find one now. So as you guys can see, it's Gracie up there. We have two options. We have a pink one and a, like a kind of blue teal one. Now the teal one's more oversized, but this one is also kind of fits the Visco vibe, but this one is also more oversized. So um, I think we'll pick this one. So we have our shirt. Now we need to pick the shorts. Now I think a pretty common Visco short is jean shorts with the oversized tee. These are my very short jean shorts. And I'm gonna wear those. The goal of the oversized t-shirt look is to make it so that you look like you're not wearing pants. So we're just gonna wear those really short shorts and I'll see you guys in a moment. Oh yeah, wait a minute. My look right now is like pretty basic. We have a sweatshirt with like frilly, holy jeans. All right, here is our look so far. We have the oversized t-shirt, and then we have this. Oh, oh my gosh, my I'm showing my shoulder. I'm gonna get dress coded. Oh my gosh, that's, mm. So under this, I'm wearing a tank top because the shirt was kinda see-through, and then we have the jean shorts, which you can't even tell I'm wearing pants, can you? No, you can't. Which is good because you're not supposed to. Yes. Strap on this outfit that is a Visco girl without scrunchies. I have this scrunchie. We're gonna put that on. And I have this scrunchie. We're gonna put that on too. You know what? Since we're doing it for the vlog and we are trying to be super hecking Visco, I'm just gonna put on every single scrunchie I own really? because we're being super Visco. What is a Visco girl without? Hydro flask, to be honest. This is my hydro flask. And it's super basically to cover it in stickers, so I did that too. So we have our scrunchies, our oversized t shirt, and our hydro flask. What's next, you may ask? This Pure Vita bracelet, of course. How could we forget such an important part of Visco culture? Also, I'm very sorry in advance that this camera's not focused. Okay, that's not going on, so we're just gonna wear it like that. And. Now we have our puka shell 
bracelet also. We're going to be layering that on top. What's next, you may ask? Well, the actual shell necklace, I meant the bracelet, but here's the necklace. These things are pain to put on, so I'll see you guys in like 30 minutes. I managed to get this all on my own. I don't know how it didn't take me like an hour. So, very visco hairstyle is a messy bun. No, I'm not putting my hair in a messy bun. As you guys know, if you've been on my channel for a super long time, I never have put my hair up in a single one of my videos, and I most likely never will. Why, you ask? <laughs> it's very uncomfortable. Also, fun fact with Lily, if you actually put your hair in like a high tight ponytail, it like kind of weakens your root of your hair so it can't really grow longer. So I'm trying to let my hair freaking grow out. Ooh. So. so we have our shell necklace, our scrunchies, our pre reader bracelet, and which is like hidden in scrunchies, and our shell necklace thingy. What's next, you ask? Visco shoes! <laughs> I brought my vans up here and it's kind of like not in focus, but they actually, I bought them so that they kind of match my hydro flask a little bit. They're very dirty right now because I literally wear these every single day, but I'm gonna put these on now. Vans and Birkenstocks and Crocs are the most visco shoes we have on our vans. So now we have to put a metal straw in my hydro flask and make ourselves some coffee with almond milk because apparently a bunch of visco girls like coffee with almond milk. So... You see, this is better than Starbucks. This is better than um, any other coffee shop in the world. We pour in our coffee, and it's actually a lot more than I expect. I'm gonna ice it. I'm gonna ice this coffee, you know? We have this. Now, we're gonna take out our almond milk. This is gonna be literally the most bitter coffee I think I've ever tasted ever. We're gonna pour it in, like most normal human beings would. I mean, what else do you do with any other liquid when you're putting it in coffee? So now that we've put our almond milk in the coffee, it's time to sweeten it up a little bit because almond milk with coffee is definitely not enough to sweeten this up. So we're gonna get some stevia because we are vegan, save the turtles. I just hit my shoulder. That was not very pleasant. Since this is cold coffee, I don't know how well the stevia packet is going to dissolve, but we're gonna see. See, we're gonna add in two. I realized that my cup that I'm using is not very visco, so we have to add it into my hydro flask. I just found out that it has a it has a dent. This thing was forty dollars and it has a dent in it. Probably because everyone's been telling me to drop it. Oh my god! Hello everyone. So we now have our coffee in my hydro flask, but I had to spice it up a little bit. Now to make a video. The coffee. I thought it was a little bit boring, so I spiced it up a little bit. I added in a little bit of like honey and a little bit of a vanilla extract because why not? We want to make this coffee nice and vanilla-y. And I also added a little bit of ice because what's an iced coffee without hecking ice, you know? So we have our metal straw in our hydro flask and now we're going to save the turtles by taking a nice tasty sip. Okay, that is good. See why Visco girls like coffee with almond milk now. Oh my gosh, that is good. And I oop. That's the best coffee I think I've ever tried in my whole entire s -s -s century that I've been alive. <laughs> now my lips are obviously very dry, so we have to put on some Burt's Bees because you know you can't be Visco without Burt's Bees or Carmex. It smells so good, and nice and wintry. Gonna layer this on. So now that we've applied that for the past like minute, we have to apply it again in five minutes. Also, I realized that another Visco accessory is a Kranken backpack. You see, I don't have one of those, and I really, really want one, but they're like, I kind of want acrylics, you know? Oh, TikTok. We need to get TikTok. We are now downloading TikTok. Um, I mean, I don't make TikToks because the last time I did that, I was 10 years old and oh my God. That was before I started YouTube and they were so hecking cringy. I can't even tell you, oh my God. Oh, the Visco app. Of course, of course I have the Visco app. So we're gonna like, so here's our little shot. <laughs> 
not the most perfect visco shot, but we have our hydroglass, scrunchies, metal, straw, birds, bees, this, in my bracelet, we're just gonna snap this like right there. So now we have the photo, and now we have to post the photo. So here's our photo. We are gonna filter it with the C1 filter, it's pretty popular, I like that. Hi, Boshi. So now we have our Visco picture. I will link my Visco in the link below. I don't even know if you can link it. Uh, if I can't link it, my username is Lily is edgy, wow. no caps, no spaces, just that. Now, Where you go, potty. obviously, okay. TikTok is finished downloading. Obviously, I'm gonna only watch memes on here. Okay, actually, I just found a Visco video, but I have to apply this bird's piece, and I oops. I think that we have and I ooped our way to the end of this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and make sure you turn on notifications so you can notify whenever I post a new video. And that's all. And make sure you follow my Visco, save the turtles, and don't dent your Hydro Flask like I did. Bye.